I had no idea those beer cans were going to blow like that. You left them on a vibrating bed. What did you think was going to happen? It's been a long day. It just, just didn't occur to me. <sighs> didn't occur to you, so I have to sleep in a puddle of beer. You want to switch? No, I just want to sleep. Me too. I am bushed. <sighs> Good night. Good night. What are you doing? Having a butt. In bed. Yeah, you got a problem with that? A big problem. Oh, don't worry, I'm not gonna fall asleep. I'd rather not risk it. I really don't want to run screaming through the lobby on fire. I was on my way home to spend a nice holiday with my family. Instead, I'm in a motel bed with a stranger 500 miles from my house. I have no idea how or when I'll get there. I'm a patient man. I paid for the cab. I am paying for the room. You paid for the pizza, too. I did? Yeah, all I had was a $100 bill, and the kid didn't have change. You went into my wallet? Are you mad? You had no right to go into my wallet! Well, what was I supposed to do? I had to pay for the pizza, didn't I? You were in there taking a shower. Did you want me to send some punk kid in there to look at your dick? You stay out of my stuff. I'm not interested in your stuff. Good. In fact, I'm bored with your stuff. So you did go through my stuff? No, I didn't. Well, then how can you be bored with it? It's just a figure of speech. Bullshit! You went through my bags. Well, how did I know you're not some kind of shady guy? Huh? I'm not gonna go sleep with a stranger without knowing a little bit about him. You could have had a gun in that bag. I've been on the road a little too long not to take a precaution or two. So, did I go through your stuff? I don't know. Did you? No, I did not, and I'm mad as hell that you went through mine. Oh, big deal. You got a shirt, a suit, some dirty underwear, and some skin magazines. Those are not skin magazines. They have film criticism and restaurant reviews. And naked girls. It's okay, Neil. That's all right. That's why hotel newsstands sell magazines like that. It's for married guys like us. Are you through with your goddamn cigarette? 